43. Uh, two thirds of the senators present not having voted guilty. The Senate judges that the respondent, Donald John Trump, former president of the United States, is not guilty as charged in the article of impeachment. The presiding officer directs judgment to be entered in accordance with the judgment of the Senate as follows. The Senate, having tried Donald John Trump, former president of the United States, upon one article of impeachment exhibited against him by the House representatives <clears throat> and two-thirds of the senators present, not having found him guilty of the charge contained therein, it is therefore ordered and a judge that the said Donald John Trump be, and he is hereby acquitted of the charge in said article. Judgment to each. It is official now. You have watched as the vote in the second impeachment trial of now former President Trump has taken place, and once again, he has been acquitted. You can see 57 guilty votes there, 43 not guilty votes. They had to have two-thirds of the senators vote, those who are present, and that would be 67. So 10 votes short of acquitting now former President Trump, his second impeachment acquittal. There were seven Republicans who crossed over in joining and voting guilty. That not enough for the Democrats to achieve what they had hoped, which was the official impeachment and removal of office of now former President Trump. I don't President think Trump. we're complacent, and I'll tell you what. administration in the history of this country that has done more than our administration.